Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 19, and we're continuing our playthrough of oh, I, <laughs> Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, the extra long title, no, the Sith Lords. And when last we left off, uh, we had just boarded the Ebon Hawk, we escaped the Paragos 2 mining station, and there is uh, very little that remains of the Paragus 2 mining station because um, it's not our fault. I, no, seriously, it's not completely, wholly our fault. Ah, you had to have been there. Anyway, <laughs> so while, uh, while in, in between the streams, I went and made sure that myself... And, uh, Kriya, Kira, Kriya, have some reflex packages equipped, and that Atten had the biotech implant that allow. what was that one again? Oh yeah, that gives him regen one. So, all three of the human characters have some form of regen, either through armor, ability, or implant. Uh, which is nice, and the Jory does too, because of one of the modules that we uh, gave him. And likewise, I went through and made sure that everybody had the uh, the best weapons I could manage to give them, at least at the moment, uh, equipped and sorted out some of the equipment. I broke down a bunch of the, the blaster rifles, since nobody I have uses those right now, and by the time I get somebody who can use them, I should have accumulated a couple more. And if I haven't, I've got bigger problems. Um, well, and that is also assuming they didn't come with one as well. So, there is that too. I, I, and I went through similarly with the rest of the gear. Uh, crafting skills are still a little bit low. Crafting resources are still a little bit low. I did also keep most of the armor that I've got floating around. Uh, honestly, I, I swapped out Atten's jacket. Uh, the one of the one of the items I gave him gave him a plus one to all saves, so his defense is up and his saves are down by one. Uh, that that's not too bad in the grand scheme of things. So I'll, I'll call that a win for now, at least. Uh, there's a part of me that wants to break it down for the parts, and there's a part of me that uh, wants to just kind of put it in storage, just because. And I kept a lot of the battle armor and the heavy armor. I don't know... I don't know who I'm going to get in the very near future and what armor they take. So I'm a little reluctant to get rid of it just yet. Although, I may sell it for the money. I've only got 2,300 credits. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I've been looking ahead at what's coming up and I'm going to have to spend some money. So, that means I'm going to need some money. It, it, it seems that playing on the light side is not the path to great wealth. Maybe power, but, you know, that we'll, we'll get there when we get there. First things first, before we launch off to Telos, we need to uh, have a couple of chats with our crew. I saved that until we got live on the stream again, so let's start with Kriya, and then we'll go from there. Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. Okay. Um... When you lost your hand, I felt it too. Your hand, is there anything I can do? If you refer to the hand, you're, you're, the choice was yours. Uh, oh, don't let me forget to talk about the whole sword thing. Uh, I, I'm still kind of... Alright, anyway. Let's go with option number two. Let, let's, see, let's see if there's something we can do. This wound is a physical thing and will fade with time. It was necessary. Hmm. Some things may only be learned from sacrifice. Okay. I'm sorry for your loss. Then consider the pain a lesson. I felt the loss of your hand. What would have happened if you had died? If I could, I would have protected you. Um, we're trying to do the neutral good thing, so... Let's, uh, let, let's go with that first one. Save your pity. I am here to save you, not the other way around. All right. Not the answer I was hoping for, but we'll take it. Well, we don't have a choice. 
Looks to me like you're the one who needs help. Seems to me you need to learn to listen. If we travel together, then we need to work together. And then we still got the, I felt the loss of your hand, yada, yada. Let's start with that third one. If we travel together, then we need to work together. I do not need your condescension nor your lectures. If anyone needs training and guidance, it is you. Okay. <laughs> then teach me to shut out your pain. Next time it could be worse. Uh, let's go with the first one. I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. More extreme? I felt like my hand was dilt dipped in molten carbonite. Uh, like what consequences? Death? Would it have been lethal? Eh, let's go with that first one. Then the sensation you would feel upon my death might be less than that, though much quicker. Uh... Would it have been lethal? Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not oh. wish to test it, nor should you. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay, I, I like some of these choices. All right, so we got the more sensible, uh, what can we do? I don't want my actions to place you at risk. Then we'll work together and try to be careful until we can fix this. This link is a threat to me and an inconvenience. We need to sever it now. Uh, but at your age, you could die any moment, especially considering the way you act. Um, hmm. And I will not allow my life to be tied to some half-dead delusional old woman. Now, let's, uh, let's go with the second one. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragus. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've never heard of a link like this in Holocrons or the Jedi histories. Does our connection have any advantages? How could this bond have happened? Well, let's see if there are any advantages. It seems the Force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the Force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. Okay. Ooh. Alright, so there is some benefit to this. I and Kriya possess the Force Chain special ability. When either of you uses a Force Power on yourself, the other gains the benefit as well. So Force Heal just got a whole lot more useful to know, especially since I don't have the Group Heal just yet. So that that is good. I, I noticed that in Knights of the Old Republic 2. They have a lot more of these weird special abilities where it's just this chain or just that. Um, and I have slightly mixed feelings about that. On the one hand, it adds a lot more depth to the characters and the interplay. And it, it gives a little more justification for some of the stuff that happens in game. Like Atten having the... the weird ability to to sense danger and all that uh at least it's justified as a character ability a special ability it's listed in along with the feats and other stuff like that so it, it's there on the character sheet uh and you're not you're not sitting there <laughs> getting this weird conversation out from nowhere uh about about something so there is at least that on the other hand it does make the game more complicated i don't mind complex but it does make it a little more complicated in trying to remember all these ties and figuring out what effect that might have on your party obviously my party options are not all that big right now so you know th this is what i got and she's almost certainly going to be on the party because having the only thing better than having a jedi on your party is having two jedi on your party and and so anyway all right Let's uh, move a on. powerful technique indeed. Though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. No kidding. So what do we do now? I need to know more about the Sith hunting us. When we were on Paragus, I could feel the Force again. Can you tell me what has happened since the Mandalorian Wars? Let's start there, because that is one of our remaining quests from the Paragus mining station, is to figure out what has happened since the Mandalorian War. Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence, and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V, 
Hmm. Alright, let's, um... Tell me about the Mandalorian Wars. This is a tale you already know well. Well, Almost a decade ago, little. the Mandalorians began preying on the Republic, bringing the fires of war to many planets along the Outer Rim. Their predations continued, winning victory after victory, until the Republic finally begged the Jedi Council for aid. Alright, um... But the Jedi Council agreed, but did not move fast enough. But the Jedi Council didn't help. Uh, only a few of the Jedi Knights did. But only some. Yeah, let's go with that one. Indeed. The Jedi Council counseled caution and patience to assess the Mandalorian threat as the Outer Rim burned. Alright. Um, I would like to know more about Revan and Malak. And... If they're just trying to catch you up on the events of Knights of the Old Republic 1, or if this is somehow tied to the events you're about to go through in Knights of the Old Republic 2. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. Hmm. And that was the Jedi Civil, Civil War. Other questions, what happened next? Uh, let's go ahead and guess ahead and go, and that's, that was the Jedi Revan Civil War. And all the Jedi that served them turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war <laughs> in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed Wounds still. that bleed still. Okay. Um, how are Malak and the Sith defeated? What happened to Malak? The Republic is weak. They couldn't have beaten Malak. Now let's uh let's go with what happened to Malak. As all Sith do, without a strong enemy, the Sith turned on each other. Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak, and that was the end of the Jedi Civil War. Funny. I remember that slightly differently. Not so much that Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak, but that Revan returned to the Jedi and finished Malak. But, okay. Um, but what happened to Revan? Does Revan still live? Did the Jedi recapture Revan? Let's try the first one. After defeating Malak, Revan left the Republic and there are none who know where he has gone. It is said hmm. that the Sith remnants turned on themselves after Revan defeated Malak, reducing Korriban to ruin as the Republic still bleeds and struggles for life. Where Revan wanders now, I do not know. Huh. So Revan saved the Republic? You're saying Revan abandoned the war? Revan turned against Malak for the sake of the Republic? Yeah, let's go with the first one. It would seem that way from a certain point of view. Perhaps. Oh, don't give me the that Jedi certain point of view stuff. That have yet to you and Obi-Wan. We shall see if the Republic has the strength to survive. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> we'll see if it has the strength to survive from a certain point of view. Then we must do what we can from a certain point of view. If the Republic is weak from a certain point of view. All right, um, let's go with the first one, because we're trying to play light side, and two and three definitely seem like dark side answers. So let's go with that first one. A culture's teachings, and most importantly the nature of its people, achieve definition in conflict. They find themselves or find themselves lacking. Too long <laughs> did the Republic remain unchallenged. It is a stagnant beast that labors for breath and has for centuries. The Jedi Order okay. was the heart that sustained its sickness. Now the Jedi are lost. We shall see how long the Republic can survive. Alright. Uh, let him burn. Let it stand on its own. Uh, let's see. Can anything be done to help the Republic? We shall see. The Jedi Civil War cost the Republic much. The resources of the Sith seemed limitless. The Republic's was not. Yes, Fleets seemed warships, limitless. From a certain point of view. Lost. Entire planets were decimated. 
their inhabitants dead or refugees. It is a from a certain point of view. Any civilization to bear. And this new threat, it is a quiet thing. Unlike the Jedi Civil War, it drives at something deeper than the strength of the Republic. It is aimed at you. Uh, melodramatic much? It's aimed at you. Alright, uh, because I'm the last Jedi? Uh, no, I, no, no, not discussing the last Jedi. That That is a forbidden phrase on this stream. So let's go, this is a threat directed at me? The Republic was never what was important, ever. It was not uh -huh. a shell that surrounds the Jedi, just as the teachings of the Jedi are a shell surrounding the heart of man. You see, the war, exactly, Arcadius. The war, has never been one waged by droids or warships or soldiers. They are but crude matter, obstacles. Oh, now we're now we're copping some of Yoda's lines. Got true it. War crude matter is waged in the hearts of all living things against our own natures, light or dark. That is what shapes and bounds yeah. I think this, this is too far back for even Yoda. So. You are the battleground, and if you fall, the death of the Republic will be such a quiet thing, a whisper, that shall herald the darkness to come. All right. Uh, there were other questions. Ask, and I will answer. All right. Uh, let's go with the third one. Let's work our way backwards. Let's find out about feeling the Force again. Indeed. And was it the same as before? Um, let's go with it was like a whisper at the edge of hearing. If my suspicions are correct, perhaps the damage the Jedi Council did was not as permanent as they thought. Um, it is not an easy thing to cut one off from the Force. Well, no, I, I do believe the Jedi would do such a thing, and... Uh, whether or not they had the right is not up for discussion right now, so let's go with... Wait, the Jedi did this to me? What did you believe? That you suddenly lost your connection with the Force without reason? Um... <laughs> it's not possible to cut one off from the Force. It's like deafening someone, or blinding them. Yeah, let's try it. Indeed it is. It is much like losing one's ability to listen or being put into a deep sleep, unable to awaken to the galaxy around you. Such a thing has been done before, when Jedi <laughs> have pronounced sentence on their own, and exiled them as they did you. Huh. I don't believe the Jedi would inflict such a punishment on someone. It seems too cruel. Nah. I I've been through the first nights of the Republic. Then there must be a way to reverse what they did. If the Jedi were not already gone and dead, I would end their lives for doing this for, to me. That's the way to dark side points there. All right, let's go with uh, the second one. It is possible that such a thing can be undone. Still, even so, the chances of the Jedi undoing such a thing for a traitor is a Wait, slim thing. a traitor? Just assuming they yet live. Um... He said it's possible how, slim is better than none, but the force, I can feel it again if only slightly. Let's go with the first one. Our link may have had other consequences. Perhaps you can hear the force again, distantly, through me. If so, then there is hope. I may be able hmm. to teach you, train you to feel the force again, and if you will not allow me to help you, then other Jedi must train you, or undo the damage they have done. Um, but there are no more Jedi. You train me, you can barely stand. I am my own master. Now, I will honor whatever training you wish to give me. Do not honor me, fallen Jedi. Honor hm. it by listening and learning. Do that, and perhaps we shall survive this thing, you and I. I offer to train you to become strong again, to know the ways of the Force, and to hear the Force sing within you as it once did. All right. <laughs> a long-winded scowl in my thoughts is enough. Leave me be. No. I have no use for mentors, but a servant. Yes. No. If your training brings me power, then I will lit. No. I accept you as a teacher for now. No. Not a lot of options for the uh, neutral good character. All right. I will welcome whatever aid you offer. 
then our training shall begin. Whenever I travel with you, I shall impart what I can to you through my words and presence. All right. Uh, I think there's some other stuff we Ask, needed to talk about. I will answer. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, Knights of the old, the first Knights of the Old Republic game gave you a lot more options to choose your own path. You had plenty of good options, plenty of bad options, but you had a wider array of options. This one, you got like the one, maybe two light side options, and then the rest of them are dark. So, we'll see if I can maintain a light side Jedi, because the nice thing is about being a Jedi Sentinel if I can get my light side affinity, uh, I forget what level it's got to be at, but if, if you can tap out, max out your light side affinity, um, you can get a plus three to constitution, which is nice. My hit points would greatly appreciate me doing that. All right. Uh... There are, there are a few gray options in there. I, I'll split the difference and go with you like that. All right. So what do we do for now? Uh, okay. So we asked about the Mandalorian War. We asked about feeling the Force again. Now we need to know more about the Sith hunting us. These Sith, they seek the death of all Jedi, as have all the Sith since the Jedi Order was first. Yeah, I was getting ready to say that. That's kind of like... It's one of the three things you can count on in the Star Wars universe. Death, taxes, and the Sith are seeking the destruction of the Jedi Order. Alright. Uh, I think I've heard enough. Other questions. The Sith were once Jedi. There was another Jedi Civil War. First split? Let's go with first split. Yes. The Jedi Civil War is Holy Mother of Expedition, we're already 20 minutes Thousands in. Thousands of years ago, the Jedi had another civil war that split the Order. It was a terrible thing. A faction among hmm. the Jedi abandoned the teachings of the Order, following their own path. Are you saying they did they what was right in their own eyes? their fellow Jedi, a war that raged across the galaxy. But these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they retreated to worlds in the Outer Rim. Over time, they took on the mantle of the Lords of the Sith. But in their hearts, they never forgot the Jedi. The hatred for the Jedi Order hmm. burns in their veins like fire and echoes in their teachings. Revan tasted it as Malak did. All right, so the Sith continue the crusade. These Sith seem different. Are they following Malak's path? Let's go with that second one. In a manner of speaking, they are different from Malak in that they are concerned only with the destruction of the Jedi. For them, it is all that matters, all that ever mattered. It is a different war these Sith wage, a thing of silence and shadow. They strike from the darkness, hiding from the face of the galaxy until all Jedi are exterminated. After all the <laughs> Jedi are gone, then the galaxy is theirs, no matter whether the Sith or the Republic rules. It is the dark side that shall reign, unchecked. After Palpatine dismisses the... Uh, oh, wait, no. that That's much, much later. <clears throat> All right. I've never seen Sith assassins like those on the Harbinger. Uh, if, the, if those Sith assassins are the best the Sith have to offer, we have little to fear. Uh, the Sith on Paragus knew some Force techniques, but they were extremely weak. Let's, let's go with the first one. That that's the less insulting towards the enemy and about as close to neutral good as we can get. I believe them to be the result of special teachings. Their apparent weakness special against you is teachings. evidence of this. Those Sith assassins can sense their prey through the force. It is like a hunger. They feed and grow stronger when they are near force sensitives. Oh. The stronger their prey is in the force, the deadlier they become. As long okay. as you are cut off from it, you were able to evade their sight. But after Paragus I fear that you will be no longer shielded from their eyes or the eyes of their masters. The stronger you grow, the more will come. Oh, so you're telling me that the enemies are going to level up as I do. Okay, I got this. All right. Um, yeah, that was the last thing we needed to ask about. So let's go. There's a lot to take in at once. I need time to reflect on this. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind <laughs> him of our destination. 
I would not want him <laughs> attempting to veer from Telos. Oh, seriously? Uh, I'll crack his skull into the bulkhead if he tries. That isn't so bad, just... Well, maybe he is. From a certain point of view. Uh, he's no fool, but he does feel odd to me. No, the fool has a name, and I'd like you to start using it. He is a fool and an imbecile. His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. Hmm. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first and his allies next. <laughs> All right. Journal entry added. Light side points gained. I both gained and lost influence with Korea. So did I end up like net equal? Is there a way to check on that? Like, I feel like there should be a way. Uh, oh, no active. Oh, because that's the uh, active quests. So that's the dialogue. Feedback. Nope. Okay. Is there a way to show our... Uh... Oh, we can't build the party yet. All right. I, I guess we'll look later. All right. So we talked to her. All right. Uh, I guess this will be a slightly longer episode because I want to talk to Atten and then... Uh, do you have something to say? Oh, come on. <laughs> Could you please stop moving around the ship? It's hard to find you. You look like you need some routine maintenance. Mind if I try to upgrade your memory core again? Can you upgrade an item for me? Oh. Can you upgrade an item for me? I don't know what that means. I need a subtitle for the subtitles. Oh. Alright, upgrade my armor, please. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. So what, I can use him as a uh, upgrade bench? <laughs> okay. Nice. Hello, my movable up workbench. All right. Uh, you look like you're needing some routine maintenance. Um, a little worried about my repair check. It's kind of low. Did it work? Please work. Oh. Uh, <laughs> whoops, must have left my hydro spanner in there. Nurse. <laughs> uh, that stutter is new. Did, did I do that? Maybe the job was tougher than I thought. <sighs> All right. I'll try again. All right. I'm not going to keep talking to you. I don't need the security systems. Let's talk to Atten, and then we'll uh, get How's ready to launch. She's still aging. Oh, seriously. Uh, cryptic as always. For someone without much to say, she sure, <laughs> sure says a lot. She seems fine. Just needs some rest. Let's go with that third one. Well, she sure could use it. It might do wonders for her mood, too. She's lucky she's a Jedi, or someone would have killed her years ago. I mean, how Did I step on the USS Pickering? May have been good I, I thought I was on the Ebon Hawk. But it takes some hard living to make creases like that. <laughs> I don't like any of these options. Good looking, are you that desperate? <laughs> uh, that way, <laughs> path to the dark side, that is. <laughs> All right. Good looking, are you that desperate? If she looks good to you, you must have taken a blaster hit when I wasn't looking. Well, let's go with the third one, because that's the least bad option on my list. Her face looks like it was plowed by crazed Ord Mantell farmers. Don't tell me you were too distracted by her personality to notice. Uh, okay. 
Just cut the chatter and stick to piloting. Let's focus on getting to Telos for the time being. Are we still on course? Never mind. Now, like, let's try to get the piece. We already tried to get her. That didn't work. So let's try to ease off the insults. Whoa, all right, all right. Don't get mad at me. Hey, I didn't ask her to stay behind and get her hand cut off, okay? I mean, I appreciate what she did and all, but she could stand to lay Dude. off the insults herself, you know? Uh, just cut the chatter. Let's focus. Still on course. I want to ask some questions. <laughs> Getting empathy from you is like squeezing water from a stone. <sighs> that one's tempting. Not going to lie. That one is very tempting. But I don't know if it will actually progress things with him or just continue the fighting. All right, never mind. I wanted to ask you some questions. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look, I respect your privacy. I mean, when have I ever asked you any questions? I mean, besides that one. Seriously? All right. Um... Oh, yeah, I forgot to check on uh, my special guest. Let's start, let's oh, ask about not that. Not much, except sounds like it was after you. As far as I'm concerned, you handled that pretty well. No more droid, no more problem. Um, <laughs> since when do protocol droids collect bounties? No, I think we know that one. Let's, uh, let's go with the third one. Beats me, sounds like you're pretty popular. If it was built to hunt you down, that is. It could have been around before you even appeared on the scene. Uh, how old do you think that model was? <laughs> yeah, well, you got me there. Look, droids, I don't trust them. That one we fought, some of them are built like that. Others just, well, break. In the head. Sometimes conflicting orders cause it. Give a droid too much data or tell it to do something it can't do, it'll crack their behavior module in half. Others just don't get memory wipes and they start going crazy. Yeah, like... Speaking of which, I think that little trash compactor's long overdue. Oh, come on, Trust man. Me, droids were made to break, and most of all, they're predictable and stupid. Look, do, do I need to, like, pick up a whole packet of Snickers so everybody can have a Snickers and, and stop the, 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 the nipping at each other or something? <sighs> I don't see that as an option. All right. What did you mean about the galaxy map not being much well, the use? The astrogation system is voice printed and locked down, but that T3 unit is doubling as the astrogation system. You can try to plot a course, but without that T3 unit to perform the calculations, you'd probably plow us into a star. As long as he doesn't steal Thanks. the ship, we should be all right. Um... Who or why? Let's go with who. I have no idea. Previous owner, maybe? Love to get it overhauled, but that's a major job. Besides, the droid will be good enough for now. <laughs> Only the dark side has cookies. All right, uh, so let's try why. Takes all kinds. Maybe someone didn't want anybody taking the ship out of the system, or knowing where the ship had been. Smugglers do it all the time in case the Republic decides to board them. Or so I hear. <laughs> oh yeah, smugglers do it all the time. So I hear. From a certain point of view. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I already asked who. I already know why. I already asked about the droid. Forget it then. Just stick to piloting. So, what happened? Uh, to what? Oh, give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Uh... <laughs> Not defined by their weapons, a Jedi is. No. Uh, exiles aren't allowed to keep their lightsabers. Oh, yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? <laughs> uh, I am going to be double-bladed uh -huh. all the way. I hear the twin blades are harder to master, but they can make enemies stampede over each other running for cover. A lot of Jedi in the Mandalorian Wars use double-bladed sabers. A more aggressive mm -hmm. blade gives you more slaughter per swing. Hey, you didn't go red, did you? 
Actually, it was. The crystal was redder than... It. No. Uh, both the blade and the crystal were unique. It's so long I've forgotten its color. I can barely remember what it used to feel like, much less look like. And I couldn't care less if I remember... Now, let's go with the third one. I thought a Jedi and their blade couldn't be part no. of it. To lose it was like losing a part of yourself. Dude. I don't remember. It was a long go. Save your questions. Now is not the time. Just fly this ship. Uh, no, because if I'm going to keep poking him with questions, I don't want him to go, well, you wouldn't let me ask you questions. So let's go with, I don't remember. It was a long time All ago. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. All right. I at least got a little bit of light side points out of that. And before I do anything else, I'm going to insert a cut and take a really quick break and then start up episode 20. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit. Especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.